everyone, we've been uh, pretty busy all day today. We were making venison summer sausage, which is turning out quite nicely. It should be done here any minute now. We got 15 logs, it's looking pretty good. And also today we've been dealing with Bonehead. Uh, you guys may remember Bonehead, he was one of our favorite show bucks. This is him right here, last year. He scored 265 inches with this set. Uh, about a week ago we noticed on a trail cam photo that he had been kicked and lost both of his brow tines and was getting an infection. So today we actually found him, sedated him, uh, and actually removed his left antler. It was full of maggots and he was in pretty rough shape. So they can take a look, but it is graphic. If they want to shut it off, now is the time. Yeah, now you turn it off. Sedated. We got maggots everywhere. He's in trouble. He could lose his life. We put a tourniquet on there. And now we've got to amputate what's going on there. All the velvet's peeled off. Sedated, he won't feel a thing. Then we got to help him out. It's going to be hard, but we got to help him out. So as you can see, the surgery on Bonehead went pretty well. We had him sedated so he didn't feel anything. We also put a copper wire tourniquet around the base of his antler while we removed the infected part of the antler. Once the surgery was done, we put pine tar on the base of his antler to keep the flies off it in the future. He should heal up fine, but don't worry. Even if Bonehead misses some shows this year, we're going to have replacement bucks that look fantastic. Double XLs looking amazing as usual and heart attack is growing pretty well, good as well so we will have big bucks to bring to shows. Uh, do bucks ever get, get kicked in the velvet in the wild? They do and normally that is a life-threatening issue. Bonehead probably would have died from this had we have not found him in time. Uh, we saw this about a week ago, put in a lot of hours to try to save Bonehead and we managed to do that tonight. Uh, now that that's all said and done we can take a look at our pro the re end of our project today. We got some fresh venison summer sausage here we're going to take a look and see how it tastes. Now this is 20% pork and 80% venison, so it's nearly 100, or mostly venison. And we'll see how it tastes. Definitely one of my favorite recipes for venison summer sausage. Thanks for watching.